Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to get some groceries. I think the next video, I've not been, I know I've been saying this a lot, I think the next video will be the video where I do the Q&A finally. It's been three months. There's going to be a crap ton of questions. Guys, if you can, please leave Q&A questions down below. It would mean a lot. This camera d doesn't do well focusing, so I'm hoping it's focused in my face. It probably isn't. I'm actually in the car right now. I'm about to start her up. But look, so I took the radio out. And it's right down there. That's the the stock radio. My other radio that I'm going to be putting in is right there. It has a full screen on it. I tried doing everything I could to do it myself. I couldn't. So I'm going to have my uncle fix it for me. I'm going to meet you guys at the store. 6.30, Monday, January 9th. I would vlog myself driving but apparently according to T Ferk 41 or whatever his name is now it's not really safe it's not but I did that just for the other video now guys it's currently dark in here and the lights not on the light is broken hold on I'll show you guys the light right there is broke oh I think I need to re replace it it makes noise every time I like slam on the not slam on the brakes but stop but something funny about this car is that it's so old that they don't make the feature anymore where you gotta put your foot on the brake to start up the vehicle. You don't need to do that. See, watch. I'm gonna put my key in the ignition. Ready? It starts up, and I don't even need my foot on the brake. Any person that drives nowadays knows that you have to have your foot on the brake in order to start the vehicle. Well, it's not the case with this. I'll show you guys in the mirror. I'm basically, I'm gonna vlog with this while I'm driving, cause look, it's literally just a compact camera. I can just hold it, but whatever. Apparently it's not safe. Also, I'm no longer at 79,000 miles. I'm at 80. All right, guys, I'll catch you there. This is the weird long driveway we have. Time check, 641. Took me about four or five minutes to get here. Dollar General. And yes, I got bird poop on my window already. And on the side of my car, Dollar General. If you guys are a long time uh, fan or just remember things I say, this is the place I applied to at. Um, and they kind of screwed me over. And I'm going to be talking about that in a future video, but in the, in the probably in the Q&A, like more in depth, but this is where I was going to get a job. Um, I talked about it in my year in review video. Oh, there's a guy coming out. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to make it seem like I'm filming him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, I'll be back with my stuff. I'm not going to film in there. Oh my gosh, guys, that was extremely awkward. The lady called me out. And it was the lady. It was the lady that hired me too. too. She's back from her um, maternity leave, and she was like, she wasn't mad, but she was confused. She thought I was working already. So I'm confused too. But I've been I've been applying on other websites for other things. I don't really think this is it. Just saying. It's been a couple days. I just want to say thank you for watching this video. If you are new to the channel, please drop a big like on this video. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Turn on post notifications to never miss out on a brand new video on the channel. I cannot believe that happened. It's very, very unprofessional on the um, the manager's, manager's side to call me out in front of everyone at Dollar General. Not cool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. It's been real. It's been Alex. Peace out.